I've already featured this TikTok user a while back. Here's a quick recap of Mr. Clown Lover's paranormal ordeal. A guy named Jacob inherited a house that was left by his late grandmother. The house looks to be furnished in a 1950s style. The colour of the wallpaper has very much deteriorated with the inclusion of old sinks and telephones and the retro style look in the kitchen. You can already sense some sort of eerie atmosphere. Ooh. On top of that, not only did Jacob's deceased grandmother leave him the whole house, she also left him this very peculiar Harlequin jester that Jacob is very fond of. She left it for me and when I got here I saw a bunch of cool stuff. And one of the best things is right behind here. Oh yeah. I call him Jeffrey. Grandma left him for me, I guess. Real creepy. Kinda cute though. <coughs> oh dear. So fun that he put a damn thing in his room. Hey, who am I to judge? Whatever floats your boat, mate. Anyway, Mr. Clown Lover has positioned Jeffrey in front of him while sleeping, as any normal person would do. However, something happens that ruins his one-on-one -on -one compassion at night. Whatever floats your boat, mate. Jacob wakes up after hearing a loud knocking sound that appears to come from the closet. I just heard knocking from the closet. Terrified of this paranormal phenomenon, he gets up to investigate and opens the door, but no one there. Unbeknownst to Mr. Clown Lover, the jester's head has shifted and is now facing him, smiling, hunched back, and with his hands between his legs, Q ate it. Definitely what you mate. <gasps> Jacob gave up having a one night stand with his special not so blow up doll friend. Instead, he's placed the clown in a separate room away from his spoil sport. I know you guys have been wondering what's going on with the creepy puppet. I'm Jeffrey, and I just wanted to let you guys know what we've done. So, after the last video, I just wasn't comfortable with him in the same room as me, so I've placed him somewhere else. As you can see, move him to this room. It's pretty empty. I just, I just want him in a separate room from me, and I don't want to feel like someone's watching me. You know. Anyways, that's what's going on with Jeffrey. I'll guys, I'll keep you guys updated. That's right, safety comes first Einstein. I wonder who put the doll in your room in the first place. Concerned viewers were left hanging for an update on Jacob's well-being. So he gave them a tour of his basement. That's it. Well, great place to start. I've been working on the basement for a while now. So it's got a little workspace going on down here. But it gets pretty cold down here sometimes. You know, I wanted to show you some of the cool things I found down here. But the coolest thing is this guy. Freaking cold down here, guys. So luckily I have this to keep me warm. And the best part is that it rotates around on a timer. So the whole area can be warm. But anyways, I've been Reading some comments that you guys left me 
by your own paranormal experiences and I gotta say man, after last time, you know, I feel it too man. Anyways, just wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to, thanks. Another incident occurred for Jacob, which left him with another sleepless evening. We've got to stay on that wallpaper. Jacob hears banging noises coming from the room to his right. He sounds like he's having a panic attack, judging by the heavy breathing he's doing. He gets up to investigate, and the squeak of his door gives you a feel of the eerie atmosphere. Oh, shut it. He heads towards the room to his right and opens the door anxiously to reveal Jeffrey still facing the wall. Oh look at you. A loud bang then comes from downstairs, sounding like as if someone is stepping up the stairs. A white speck of an orb rises and then turns sharply right, but who knows? Could be a fly or a moth. I don't know, what do you reckon? Followed by the door creaking, and most importantly, oh boy, most importantly, according to Jacob, the cute looking not so blow up doll looking at him with a big grin on his face. Oh, cute ain't it, eh? According to Jacob, that is. Obviously, putting him in a separate room didn't do the trick. Another alternative had to be done. Oh, let's have a look, eh? Uh, oh. Let's have a look, uh, dig a hole and bury it? Nah. Burn it? Nah. Oh, 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 give it to someone who has a thing for haunted dolls? You reckon? You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. And in general, I think I'm just scared. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement. So I'm going to follow up after I get that done. So Geppetto placed Pinocchio in the basement. Poor Jeffrey. Jacob made him face the wall, didn't he? Life ain't fair, is it, mate? Jeffrey. This is the result so far. I'm gonna leave him here for now. But I think I'm gonna put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here. So we're gonna see if there's anything I miss. 
Jacob positions his motion detection camera on top of the electric heater with the lights turned on. In the comfort of his own room upstairs, with a mug of hot cocoa and tucked in I suppose, he anxiously awaits a response. Suddenly, the motion detection camera kicks in and alerts Jacob's phone. You might wonder what the big deal is about this clip. Well, Mr. Don't Love of the Year forgot that he put his camera on a rotating heater. But the oddest thing is, who activated the motion detection camera? Who activated the rotating heater? Is the heater set on a timer? Or perhaps Jacob did it. Here's another one. Do you think Jeffrey was his own webcam? <clears throat> the next day, the camera sets off again, and it looks like we finally have our answer to whether Jeffrey was to feature himself in Dolly Fans. Uh, don't, 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 don't look that up, please. The heater rotates and moments later Jeffrey's hand mysteriously moves, followed by the light bulb blowing up with a big poop. The following day, Jacob positions Jeffrey facing the camera on all fours, poor Jeffrey. In addition, a dark mysterious shadow is caught, somehow it looks like he don't know what to do, whether he wants to be in front of the camera or not. It's very hard to determine what this is. One could suggest that it could be a silhouette from the outside. I know what you're thinking, where's the window? If I was to rewind back a bit, you know when you were showing us his basement, perhaps someone was moving around giving that creepy shadow look. Give or take it could be from that crack or from that window. I don't know if that's a window or not, could be a mirror. Here's another clip of a close up of his face, oh dear. Someone suggested that Jeffrey's eyes had moved. Take a closer look. Perhaps it's a camera frame that has glitched up. It's a bit dark, ain't it, obviously. Once again, more weird shadow presence. Could it be the camera static or someone goofing around? Ooh, don't be shy. Jacob has mentioned numerous times that he will keep us up to date with his toy pet. So, watch this space. In the meantime, what do you make of all of this? Could it be staged? Or a hoax? Or maybe, somehow, maybe, Jacob actually got a clown doll jester, obviously, that is itching to run riot in his house. The decision is yours. Right here folks, that's me done for now. There's loads more to come. Um, yeah, if you can't wait, there's always my other videos. Until then, please do have 
Nightmares.